Hi, my name is Mike Carpini and I'm an alumni from College of the Siskiyous. I attended College of the Siskiyous in 1968 after I came back from the service. I played on the first football team they have here at uh, College of the Siskiyous, went undefeated. Uh, we had a mixture of local coaches, uh, John Mazze, uh, the head coach was uh, uh, Jim Ray, uh, Overmiller, Barnes, some of them names might sound familiar to some of the older people, and uh, Van Etten and Goodlock. And we were a real close family together. They, they were mentors for us. Uh, after football, I uh, went out for the basketball team, and Sid Smith was the coach. And the team comprised basically of Siskiyou County or the surrounding areas. Uh, was uh, Dave Branson from Aetna, uh, John Bennett from Wairika, Clinton Brown and myself were from Whedon, Gary Hickey uh, was from Dunsmere, plus we had other local kids that were on the team. That team that year uh, won the league and we ended up having to play a playoff game with Gavlin uh, College at Shasta High School and we won that game 85-84 which advanced the uh, uh, basketball team to the state championship. And at that time, it was the top eight teams in the state of California. And we were playing teams like Los Angeles City College, uh, Pasadena City College. And we were the smallest school, and they kept announcing us as Siskiyous. And uh, we even once said Sequoia, as we said, no, we're College of the Siskiyous. But uh, after that, uh, I had went out for the baseball team. And uh, John Mazay was the coach, and I... Uh, uh, played two years of baseball here at College of Siskiyous. In 2007, uh, I was lucky enough to be inducted into the Siskiyous Hall of Fame with a good friend of mine, Joe Blevins, and uh, Brian Garrick, and Dennis Lorenzini from Eureka. And there were some more on that list, but I don't remember all the names. Uh, the year before that, my good friend and Hall of Famer at Weed uh, High School uh, alumni was Dennis D. Ross, and he was the baseball coach here for many a years. After college or in between there, I ended up coaching at uh, Weed High School for about 25 years. Coach C was my assistant there. I uh, went to Wairika for 10 years, coached up there, came back. In 2000, Mr. John Sledi hired me as a counselor, and it just so happened that they needed a basketball coach, so as what can they do? What can I do? I'm gonna coach. So I coached uh, for another 10 years or so. Uh, then I retired and I continued to coach for a while. And now my grandson is the uh, uh, varsity boys coach there. And Jake West uh, is the assistant girls coach here at College of Siskiyous. So I made a complete circle with my family and myself. And College of Siskiyous definitely was the stepping stone to get me where I was and where I am today because at that time I was working in the mills and after uh, getting a job in Wairika as a coach I, I uh, went back to uh, uh, Ashland and got my BA which ended up getting me back here to Weed High School as a counselor and so a complete circle uh, I'm very fortunate uh, to have the things I've had and have the coaches I've had and just be able to be in this community. When I was coaching in Wairika, I coached uh, basketball mainly, but they needed somebody to coach uh, girls softball and nobody would take the job, so I took the job. I coached girls sophomore for a couple of years. And then you're not gonna believe this, but they needed a cheerleader coach. And I said, well, I don't know much about cheerleading. They said, well, you just got to be there. And so I was a cheerleader coach for uh, about a year or two. And that was the hardest job I ever had because uh, they would not, I wouldn't let them do stunts. If you know what that is, if you're a cheerleader, where they throw you throw in the air. I had to make sure that they would just do regular cheers and, they, and I'd just drill them for hours until they got it right. And... After that, I ended up coaching the baseball team for a couple of years because they needed someone on staff to coach baseball, so I coached baseball for a couple of years also. I remember a funny story when I got back and I went out for the football team. There was uh, 50 players or more out there and they didn't have enough helmets to go around, but they had uniforms and pads and stuff. So we had to go to practice, the ones that didn't have a helmet, and just wait till they ordered them and come in. I didn't know how long that would be. 
And I remember one incident where a kid went down and he was hurt and he couldn't play, uh, practice anymore and everything. And so they were, they put his helmet on the ground and they took him into the locker room. I picked the helmet up and put it on. I had a helmet and I started practicing with that helmet until the hel other helmets came in. But it was kind of like everybody was looking at each other going, I'm taking that helmet, and I got to that helmet before <laughs> the rest of them did. And uh, not that we were happy that the kid got hurt, but we just wanted the helmet.